are four other people. So make a couple more efforts. I'll still stick to the theme of the, the, the conference. Okay, so that's the, the I, I, I thought. Um, uh, we talked about the labor passion, which is uh, very hard for the early regions to start. Okay, so there's no object section, no face perception today. <laughs> only only early region. Okay. And I and I'm talking about uh, six dimensions of the compression dependency. Firstly is uh, six dimension. Uh, don't worry about it, I will I will go into that detail later. Basically it's uh, um, you have a, a three dimension space and then you have a, 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 a base, you have orientation and then you have some cluster. Okay. So what is the actually? Uh, actually a lot of a lot of uh, uh, visual phenomena depends on the uh, 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 action. For instance, in this case, you can see a contour here, all right, but uh, uh, not here. Uh, even so, the, the, the contour is actually the same, all right? And, uh, uh, and this one is a very, very famous, very famous uh, YouTube, uh, um, quite a YouTube. Basically, for instance, here, you can see uh, this strip here so looks uh, 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 in a bridge here, and while the, 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 the strip here kind of bridge, actually not, they are the same way of their colors. Okay. And also this with uh any house effect or 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 uh teaching us the uh, illusion, you know, those both really uh, basically um uh, this um uh, the size of circles um here is bigger than this one, even though physically they should be the same. And uh, this is uh, another, another illusion which uh, uh, some people may see some certain kind of uh grating in these uh, uniform strips. Okay, those are uh, those all those are related to action and of course you can a lot uh, of different example from the typical perception Facebook. Right? But here we focus on what type of the label type. We call it the label uh, masking. Right? Uh, the the, the, the label masking is that uh, this, if you are uh, X object to take uh, the whole label here. Okay? And then you say that uh, uh, Frankus uh, above and below is uh, is target uh, and that collision. And then you change the distance between, uh, between the target and Frankus basically stage call first goes down and goes up again. Right? So this 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 effect is called the uh uh fiber fiber presentation effect. Right. The reason I use this effect is that it is uh it provides a uh very good dependent specification to this uh reputation phenomena. Right. And uh my first experience with this phenomena is goes back back to fifteen years ago. Right, when I was uh, uh, doing post in this period, uh, uh, Mr. Einstein Institute. There's one reason really is that we can subject output here. Subject, yes, uh, the subject here in this case, right? Uh, we, uh, we put the electrode, uh, electrode in, in the uh, case of uh, primary visual cortex. And then we make visual uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, extracellular uh, 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 pulse uh, <coughs> of the cell to uh, ready in the, in the, in the project to the institution here. And then we compare the 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 the, the cell control response function with and without parameters. Okay. So this is uh, our result. And uh, if you without parameters, the response function is a typical sigmoid response function. The the as contrast increase, the response first uh, going this way like a shape. All right. So it's very typical uh, 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 response function. And then when we add the the uh, parameters. To uh, the, the, the stimuli, but outside is different. Okay, we have two effects. The first, um, notice that the, con the contrast effect is constant, and we change the, the contrast of the target. Okay, as the the vector basically increase, the, the target first in, the, the, the target in, uh, sorry, the vectors increase the response at the lower target contrast but surplus it in a high, uh, in a high contrast. So basically, the effects I have is twofold. Basically, you have, 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 have this kind of crossover structure. Okay. And this one cannot be, in, in, cannot be uh, interpreted as uh, overlap between uh, Frankers and targets in the field because if you can decide Franker law, basically it produce almost uh, produce a response as a, this, 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 no stability. Okay. Now this kind of state uh, provides a certain kind of uh, um, uh, problem to the uh, to the model for uh, um, single single cell contrast function. 
previously, one of the top most dominant model for uh, self response is called this, this um, for normalized model. Okay? Basically, this model is that if you have uh, a series comes in and you have a linear filter up here on the on, on the image. And then um, this, the, the, the dissertation of this cell was normalized by some all the other cell together. Right? And if the two together is not functioning. Okay. This in this case, if you want to implement a random effect, it has been implemented as a part of the, the, the numerical pool. So this effect is added to the effect of the the uh, uh, the, 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 the mask. So in this case, you either uh, increase this, you either have a separation or you have a dissertation. But since the, the effect, the Frankly effect, it is additive to the other uh, stimuli, so basically as the the uh, response the, as the target contrast increase, the negative the, the, the contribution from Frankly's will be decreased. So you will, you will have uh, some kind of uh, convergence. Okay, uh, at the high end of the small function, you, you won't you won't get the, the crossover effect. Okay, so to account for crossover effect, basically remember that we have two effects here. One is that uh, the Frankel effect is crossover crossover effect. Uh, the second one is that the Frankel law do not produce any any uh, uh, effect. So it sounds like uh, the Frankel effect is like a, a multiplicative factor. That's a number times the, the response itself. So we um, we change, we, we, we make a modification of the contract response function, contract response model, and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, we suggest that uh, there's a method, the data mechanisms which uh, can change the sensitivity of the uh, um, both the, the, the flip forward transition and uh, the visit invasion input. As a result, um, the, the, uh, the response function basically has given it is a constant times times the uh, uh, numerator and the, and the other constant in the in the uh, uh, in the okay the the things in the uh, uh, this yellow box is basically the same as the uh, uh, the mesh model for neuron in the same kind of column right so there's two effects here we see how column is constant organization between uh, between um uh, how color is it is the multiplication Okay. How, how this model is, is, is playing the crossover effect? Okay. Basically, uh, we can assume, well, this is uh, the our model here, we saw the Franklin space we pay in the is equals one. So we can just remove that. And then a low contrast, this inhibition, you know, the power is about two, so the inhibition term is much smaller than the, 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 the additive constant sigma. So a low contrast, basically the, the response is proportional to the, to the contrast contrast the place of power, power So it's so it's, it's that's part of how you get the expensive number in the expand function. And a high contrast, uh, if the sigma is now uh, much smaller than the i, which is a, 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 a contrast to the place of power q. So in this case, if the, the response function is basically the duration of the q. So you get this, uh, the 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 surpassing number in the high end. So that's how you get the 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 expand function. And for your advantages, basically uh, this one is much smaller than the sigma. So what you get is the constant k times the whole times the, 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 the whole thing here. So you get a, a, a facilitation, a low contrast. And uh, in high contrast, basically uh, the, 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 you have to consider both k and the i. As long as k is, is smaller than the i, you will get a separation in high contrast. So in, in this case, you will be able to expand the causal effect in uh, the Franklin effect. Okay. So the, 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 what we just said is the um, new response in K context. Of, co of course, if anything we are uh, doing animal research in the of those that, uh, in those multi people tend to say to, you know, this is a discrete, discrete agreement between monkey physiology and the cat physiology. The monkey always say, come on, just a cat. <laughs> right, right. So, then in other case, so let's say when we should do something more evolutionary, evolutionally closer to us, which is uh, which is ourselves. Alright, so we decide to do human like physics. Um, it is the same phenomenon. So basically, I think we are talking about the, the 
fantastic fact. So this is our first dimension, fantastic, fantastic to me. Right. So uh, the problem is here is that uh, you cannot put an elect uh, electrode uh, into a human brain. Right? The IRB won't allow it. Okay. So so we have to do uh, some kind of indirect method. So the, here, so to do that, we use uh, a, 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 a paradigm called the Pettis effect. In Pettis effect, basically, of the, the task of the subject, uh, the task of the subject is to take a target. The target, the target is superimposed on something like a pedestal. For instance, here, a pedestal target are of the same shape, same shape, let's say. So basically, the task is basically contrast to nature. Okay. Now we have the, the, the XMS, in, 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 in the XMS, the task of the server is to say which one has higher contrast. And or, in some case, uh, the pedestal have different, different shape, different uh, switch property or a target. In this case, you have to really to get Uh, why this one can help us to, uh, to estimate the some function in the window system? Uh, basically, this is a, a theory it goes way all the way back to the 19th century. The, the idea is that a new system systematically measure the the the, the contrast edge time, the contrast increment edge hole, and the different kind of things for contrast. You will get this kind of uh, function. That is, the edge hole first goes down and goes up again. And uh, this one, um, you know, maybe implies a certain kind of some function problem. Why is that? The idea is that uh, if you detect to detect target, the target has to produce a response strong enough to overcome the effect of noise. Okay. But let's say, given hundreds of thousand trials, the, the, the noise variation is not constant. So that means the contrast has to increase the response by, by a certain amount. Now, you can you can scale this amount to one, so we just say one unit of response. Okay. For this no pedestal, you need uh, this kind of contrast to increase the response by one unit. Right? And then here you have uh, expensive nonlinearity. So that, that means uh, in, the, in the pedestal C1, you need a much less contrast to, in, to increase the response by, by the same amount. So so this one is your this makes you search for. So that's why you get the, the equivalent of search for here. At, at, at high contrast, the linearity is the basic linearity. So you need a much larger contrast than the C, the C P dealer to get the same increment of response. So uh, if you have the, the increment of search, search for at high contrast. So that means the, um, the, the, the search for actually uh, affects the the, the 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 slope of the response function. The the higher the, 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 the higher the slope, the lower the slope, and the vice versa. So so this so so you can so, so if you if, if you systematically measure the scale basic function, you can piece by piece pick up the slope of the response function and you can you can put it together to get the, the response function. Okay. So that's how, that's so that's the the, the the nationality of our instruments. So we use this pretty slow in back with the uh, 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 data masking. So in pedestal effect, you have uh, target and pedestal. In, in data masking, uh, as, it, as polar and polar SRP, you have uh, a target in the presence of renders. So we develop this paradigm, we call two mask paradigm, because one mask, one mask is pedestal, the other is renders. Okay, cool. Uh, this, uh, this, this paradigm, the, the, the task of the server is to, to, to take a target super in person in the pieces of frames. Okay. You can manipulate them you know, so that are independent. Okay. So basically, we can make some, some prediction from those models uh, how the TVT function will be observed. TVT function here means that sexual versus type uh, sexual versus uh, the pedestal contrast. Okay. Uh, so we just say the normalization model. The normalization model, the frame effect has to implement as a component in the normalization pool. So it is additive, it, it, it's uh, additive to the effect of the contrast, target contrast. So it's as a high the uh, the uh, uh, phase contrast increase, the effect should be uh, should be uh, smaller and smaller and smaller because the ultimate frame contrast is constant. Okay. On the other hand, if uh, um, if the 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 uh, the frame frame effect is a multiplicative factor changes in the activity to a target, 
then basically, you know, on this kind of log scale, <coughs> you know, log scale, you know, the, the multiplication is basically hidden. So you may get a horizontal shift of the basic function. So that's so the two different model, different kind of model which here. And that's our example. I think it's very clear. Uh, this is like the data from my eye. Basically, you get the citation here, which is the consistent with the point star peak. And uh, you also get the horizontal shift in high contrast. So what 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 the points are here? They must be in fact it's measuring only this this only this point. Right here, we got the whole function up, so we can really clearly see what's the uh, making the underlying the kind of relative interaction, All right? And that's, that's the another server. Uh, I observe tend to have smaller data mass in effect, but have much longer uh, little shift. Okay. So, coming to model, we, uh, we 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 pick up this model, which is a fit out data pathway, and we reject this model, the match model. Yeah. So that's the. Um, so that's the that's the original original model we uh, we proposed, and over the over those years there are different models have been proposed by other scientists trying to explain uh, how the uh, how to make this underlying the uh, uh, Okay, and uh, some some observer um, uh, some um, some also say this is maybe um, the special you know, the specific field maybe quite you know, maybe you don't get the the the, the, the so even though your franker is, is put up, uh, is kind of uh, far away from um, the target, it may still overlap with the, the, the field. Okay. And uh, also this is uh, so-called uh, dash of uncertainty. Um, the idea is that the franker provides a special temporal cue to a target, so it can it help you to attend to a target. Okay. So let's uh, examine these two theories one by one. Okay. Uh, some such, so, First, we to look at the subject of summation theory. Um, basically, this, this idea is that uh, the this, this idea of a neuron is actually quite complicated. Okay, it is not, not it is not so uh, advantage because there there are some evidence to suggest uh, this fear the, the length of this fear is much longer than this. Okay, and uh, um, so so even though the, the, when you put the uh, target here, even though the length of the 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 the, the, the uh, target is about the same as the CTF. It may it, it may still or be sent because now uh, it'll get to the location of the of the um, the vendors. So this kind of set comes back. As the vendor this can uh, increase the supply and starting instruments. Okay? And uh, uh, when the vendor moves moves away it's over there with the field becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay? And uh, we know that for the function Low contrast pedestal will produce a representation. High contrast pedestal will produce a uh, 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 masking. So basically, if you put the masks away, it, it has been uh, uh, equivalent to a low contrast pedestal. So that is, the friendly effect is basically a reverse of the TVC function. Okay. So that's a, that's a theory proposed by Solomon in back in 1999. Okay. So in this case, we try to understand what's going on here. Since their their main since their uh, arguments on distance, well, so we do the difference act on distance. We put the, the which um, we also value the the, the 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 difference between target and factor, the distance between target and factor, and see how the this much of fun work uh, looks like. Uh, basically, the uh, so the the problem here is the uh, the condition with no factors. If, if, if the vendors were placed very close to the target, basically you see a lot of uh, um, individual masking effect at every point. But still, you can still see this kind of uh, the, the deeper, deeper shape function. Right? And uh, if you move the uh, distance away, and then you that the effect becomes uh, become the, the, the kind of uh, this tissue and the crossover effect, as we observed earlier, and this effect also decreases as the vendors move even further. So now we have post VC function and uh, distance function. So we can exact, we can uh, examine whether this theory is true because we have measurement on this one and the measurement on this one also. So and so we the the the, the, the function get the permanent out 
And uh, we, we can try to compare this one, how this, uh, this, this thing that works. Um, basically, um, the blue coin is all data. Okay. And uh, then we try to see how the, the, uh, the, this model, the elongated distributive model works. Now, first, of, first of all, we can, um, we can put the, the, uh, the uh, uh, distributive TSS as a free parameter. So you get so you basically you get this kind of uh, um, uh, uh, the, 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 this kind of prediction. Okay, so this prediction is quite different from our data. Okay, so some people may say, well, the how the, how the contribution to it, to the target detection may not be the incentive fear at the location of your target. Maybe it's there some special offset. Fine, let's call it off peak looking. And so we also put the location of the, the distributed field as a free counter and beta. But still, quite different from our data. All right. So, 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 so in, so in this way, we can um, safely, safely uh, uh, make a, a conclusion that uh, this kind of uh, stationary summation model uh, cannot explain the TVC function itself. Okay. So again, this model is wrong. All right. And then the, the, the other model we are going to explain is called uncertainty theory. Okay? The uncertainty theory is that the, um, the, um, <coughs> the finders here, which is collinear with the target, provide the, a special cue to focus your attention. See, if you see the, the finder here and here, you know, oh, yeah, target should be here. This one, it gives the special uncertainty in the, in the, in the system. Okay? So in this case, if, in, in, so, so that means the rate effect is basically the um, attention effect. Okay. This kind of an increment of attention reduces your sexual. Right. So um, the, the, the best evidence of this kind of theory comes from um, um, uh, Julian Schroff uh, 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 in 2006. What the, what the method is that they compare the, the sexual to a target in the presence of frankness or with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, Q. Okay. If you Q the, the location of target first and then show the target itself, you get the sexual reduction. And then you do the same experiments with the target without Q and the frankness. And you also see the similar the similar uh, uh, sexual reduction. So they say this okay good. These two effect, these two condition give you the same trend to result. So the final effect may, may well be a uh, addition effect. So, but this one, this one kind of experiments, I think this is a mistake because they only look at the first the first point of the whole TVC function, which is uh, patching. They didn't look at the whole uh, the whole response uh, properties, and also their argument is uh, valid only if the system is linear. So we, now we try to find a paradigm which I can separate the uncertainty and the final effect. That's how 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 do we do? Basically, uh, we can uh, here uh, we basically our display containing uh, two uh, uh, two location. The pedestal uh, pedestal and fenders in A and C can be conditioned. But in one of the condition, in one in one of the the container the target. So the target is in one in one location, and uh, we, uh, uh, so and then you can use the queue to give the correct queue or incorrect queue. But in my to, to, uh, to tell the subject whether the, uh, the target is here or not. So basically, even though we have a Q here, okay, the, uh, the Q you can, you can use your uncertainty. So in, in this kind of, in this kind of uh, uh, setup, even though you have Franklin here, you still have a, a, a large amount of uncertainty in the system. So if Franklin effect is uncertainty reduction, you should not observe Franklin effect in this kind of setup. Okay. Okay, so that's, that's the, uh, our result. Basically, we have four conditions. <coughs> the TVC function without Q and the without the uh, Franklin. TVC function with Q. TVC function with Franklin. And the TVC function with both Q and Franklin. Okay. So basically, uh, again, the blue line here is the one without Q and without Franklin. Okay. When you present the Franklin law, again, we got a crossover function right here. And then we think we present the Q at all. The function looks quite different. The green, uh, this is the green curve here. Basically, the whole function was pushed down. Okay. 
one tap cross over, the other tap the, 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 the what do you call it? Uh, the shift. And then if you put the, 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 the two together, the function shows both the uh, 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 vertical shift, uh, vertical shift, and crossover. And notice that in the short XMS, they only mention the uh, the uh, detection threshold. Here we do see the finite effect and Q and Q and Q effect have the same effect. Okay. So in this case, we are we try to we argue their their argument uh, finite effect is basically a negative effect. Is due to uh, in, 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 insufficient uh, information. Okay. So and then if we look at if we look at the the uh, um, the threshold the threshold changes, but the effects also quite quite obvious. Q produce a uh, space tension A effect, but uh, Franklin uh, produce a uh, kind of causal effect. Okay. And then we to to expand this kind of phenomena, we extend our model. Okay, this is a traditional density image model. And this one is too much model I just introduced. Okay. And then since there, there are two different locations, so if there's some uncertainty in the system, so you have to um, implement uncertainty in the, in the model. Basically, uh, we um, there's a um, n number of channels which is better, which is detected by the by the uh, 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 by the stimuli. And uh, another M minus N uh, the level channel, which uh, is not, which you are not uh, activated by the by the uh, stimuli, and and in this and in this case, uh, the the the, the distribution <coughs> is basically uh, uh, first power summation uh, of the the level channel, All right? And then we compare different kind of model. Um, you know, there's a several possibility why this effect is produced by some uncertainty. Uh, effect can be produced by Frank effect, or effect can be produced by both. Okay, so all, and, and then all those kind of mechanisms, and uh, we decide to pick out the channel the model, which is uh, uh, both sensitivity and different sensitivity. Um, the 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 the, the Frank effect is basically uh, and Q-in, both Q-in and Frank effect is both acting on the sensitivity to a to a target. So we don't even need uh, this kind of uh, uh, uncertainty, uh, uncertainty reduction. Okay. So um, so far, I think I, I hope I can um, I can I can persuade you that the uh, um, masking actually provide a much better way to look at the frank the lateral detection than traditional uh, lateral masking. Okay. And uh, the benefit but the benefit of this one is allow me to estimate estimate the probability of this function and also provide more constraints to the model. Right. So um, we so far we I, uh, we we try, we have that uh, frank effect is not a sub substitution summation, it's not a certain reduction. It is likely to be detection between neighboring uh, neurons. And this neighboring neuron can be is both excitatory and inhibitory and uh, they are uh, multiple point effective. Uh, okay, that's that's that's, it. that's just the model. Now, so we got this kind of effect. What's the function law of this kind of effect? <coughs> okay. The first we we try to see affect the so-called non-classic instability model, the uh, uh, the field. The classic instability field means the one defined by Peter Wiesel, which you can push the is the the, the point in the field. Uh, the stimulus that you can in the in the, in the, in the, the visual field can activate your neuron. Okay. The non crystal field means that uh, uh, the, the, the the location of the video field, which uh, well, the stimulus itself in the field will not not will not affect the, the neural response, but will modulate the response to, it, to, to the, the, the to the target. Okay. So really here we uh, test this kind of, this kind of uh, uh, maybe this kind of two dimensional field. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, I C now, which is X Y. Uh, expressed in far component. Okay, basically we can change the, the, the radius, which is a, a distance between the target vector and the uh, um, or, or location, which is a, a deviation from this kind of linear axis. Okay. And uh, uh, if you change the, the, the location, basically uh, the effects is always also uh, 
the the, the DLT grade, this grade, this, this is a, this a kind of a strong effect of this machine pay and the effect crossover. And this one, this time we can show, show, we just have to show the, the, the um, they have four. This grade, look, uh, close distance division, uh, long, uh, medium distance is a issue, and way long distance have no effect. So in this kind of case, we can use uh, we can fit use my our model to estimate the sensitivity, the uh, the force sensitivity, the, the, the individual sensitivity, and the different kind of uh, uh, stimulus parameter. Okay. So basically, uh, for the uh, the uh, location impact, basically we design a kind of a uh, uh, <coughs> a Gaussian function. Uh, this thing is basically kind of a like normal function. So we got the R and theta. And so we can put it together, so we can get a two-dimensional map of the non-passive here. The note is that in all previous <coughs> or or this show, the sphere is contrast and dependent. So the effect here is also contrast dependent. So in the low contrast, uh, you get a lot of there's a lot of uh, 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 presentation in the collinear direction. Okay. And some uh, and, and in vision and the orthogonal uh, direction. Uh, 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 direction. And at uh, uh, high contrast, you only get the um, division and the collinear direction. Okay. So that's uh, the, the, the last case of this here. And then we make sure we in the back in the later master. This is our first submission. The idea is that you can see symmetrically change the orientation of the uh, uh, frameworks to see what's the effect. And then, uh, okay, uh, the, the effects basically, uh, um, you can, uh, the, uh, this is no friend, no friend condition. Basically, uh, see, as you, uh, 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 as you uh, increase the, uh, the orientation of the parameters, basically you get a lot of it, uh, uh, presentation here, not here, but not here. And then if you, uh, so again, we use the activity function and estimate, put the, put the data in our model, and estimate the uh, sensitivity at different kind of stimulus power. So, uh, so, so this is uh, the, this is uh, uh, how the correction uh, condition in fact change with the mental orientation. Basically, this is uh, a very sharp the uh, Gaussian uh, very sharp Gaussian function uh, plus a very much much shallower uh, Gaussian function. Okay. And this is the, the, the first dimension. Then we go to we got to the x and y, and we go to the depths. Uh, in in that effect, that's the effect, what we do is that we try to see how the depth difference between target and parameters uh, will affect the, the detection. Now, this is some previous uh, idea of this paper works that the frame effect only occurred when target and frame are on the same uh, depth. Uh, which we, 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 we believe this, this one might um, have uh, one uh, pitfall because when you put the target and on a different depth, you also put it on different pen. So maybe it is a uh, uh, pen service effect, not a distance effect. So to test this type of measures, uh, we try to make uh, this kind of six different kind of computation. The one frontal pen alone, everything is on the same pen, front pen, at the same distance from you. Okay. Uh, by the way, this one is a left eye image. This one is right eye image. So if you can feel you you can actually try to use it. Right. But anyway, if you can have refuse, just follow this uh, white line, white, white line here. Uh, in front of the pen condition, uh, this collinear here, so basically, uh, everything, everything is the same distance from you and on the same pen. And in the same condition, they are at different uh, depths. Okay. But they are on the same, you will feel that they are on the same pen. Okay. And in addition, uh, uh, the target and the angle different uh, uh, distance and also a different pain. In staircase condition, they are again they are also uh, a different different uh, 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 service and different distance. But <coughs> this one is kind of a uh, 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 kind of second order uh, change. It's a first order change. Okay. And uh, this one con con the condition to control the tilt effect here. And the, the one of the uh, critical condition is Soto's condition. In this condition, target and parameters are in the same, same depth, but on a different surface because they are kind of on a, on a, on 
and so forth. That the same is a way of by using that. So basically, that's our example. There's some citation in uh, the bank. That's kind of you can understand here. But we can put it uh, illustrating on this video. Basically, uh, what's the condition you get the presentation? Basically, the final the, the, the uh, pair of condition, for the condition, of course, it's a more so, severe so condition. But also the same condition. The same, the same condition is the target bank is at a different uh, distance uh, on the same service. Okay, this sounds more specific pay on the uh, this control conditions pay. And then, so so what's the condition with some inhibition? The 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 largest inhibition occurred in batch condition, which target and flankers are the different uh, and also different pain. And this one, same the same uh, depth, different pain. You also get another, uh, you also get another inhibition. And this one still case. Coming kind of in between. One is like, oh yeah, it is a different, different service, but we almost two can put them together to interpret the stuff that are playing here. So it's not collinear, but also co so the collinear effect is not, it's not just collinear, but also co planar. Okay. Um, so the, uh, the, 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 the last experiments I'm going to talk, talk about is um, so face of the face of the the, the reason is that the previous literature show pe people report that uh, to get the frankly effect, the target and the frankly should be at the same space, either for some phase or some phase, but they have to be in the same phase. So if they are in a different, different phase, there's no collinear presentation. And the location is, we, as, as we can show, the target and frankly should be in the collinear uh, location. To get the presentation back in the at the, uh, the side, of, side of the location, there's, there's no impact. Okay, All right. So we know with this kind of knowledge. Now I ask the question: What happens if the face and the location are also are both different? The face are one hundred eighty degree on the face, and location is on side. For this one, if the system is linear, you expect this condition. We have no impact. Okay, so, so to test this one, we use this kind of this kind of uh, complication. Uh, this 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 is uh, uh, the, the, the location. This is a banker, banker base. In the, in this kind of condition, the collinear, the target and the flankers are both collinear and uh, with the same base. We will expect that uh, our presentation here. Uh, in this condition, they have a different base. How's that base? Uh, from previous definition, we expect there's no back effect. This one, side effect. They, they are of the same place, but uh, but at the side. Okay. Also, from definition, we expect. We, we, we know this is uh, no, no frank effect. This one is a new condition here. You okay. have the target, and uh, target and flankers are both, uh, uh, the are both different. From these two, we will expect this will not have any effect. But this is, but this is not. They are kind of kind of uh, surprising. Uh, this is this is like the uh, the the two condition where uh, uh, different phase different phase uh, uh, event. This is a different equation phase. This is the we already know. But turns out if you have uh, different phase and different location, uh, different location, you actually get quite a lot of condition. Right. So this is kind of uh, surprising. But why? Turns out, we, we, we take a look at what kind of condition we get this presentation. One is that collinear, collinear effect. This one we know with the first uh, presentation. And then we found, in this kind of condition, target and flanker uh, uh, have different phase, also previous presentation. Now we play together, what, what did you see? Everything here is, um, high, is high, uh, uh, high luminous. Everything here is low luminous. So in this way, this one is basically consi is consistent with one service. This one is consistent with another service. So this is consistent with the order ownership response. As people measure the way to way to uh, neurons. Okay. Alright, so in conclusion, 
here uh, we found that Franco effect is configuration dependent. Right? Uh, the strongest effect when occurs when a target Franco are collinear and have that optimal distance. So this one is the, it's now it's now there to come with equation. And uh, co and it is called co copanality, co but not this is situation. And the first effect depends on Franco Franco uh, positions. So it's a consistent order ownership. So combine this three, this three together, we, was, we, we, we make a conclusion. The function of Franco effect is to support the detection of three out three objects. Okay, so very much. Sorry, it's just a simple question that uh, you present the function of R theta, Z, Z, or omega Z, that's your parameter, right? And um, just wondering about is the specific form of this function, or is it just a representation about um, what you research? Uh, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, uh, let me simplify my question. Uh, you discuss um, the uh, different parameter, uh, uh, different effects in your research, uh, yeah, correct? And I'm just wondering about it's a kind of representation. Yeah, you mean the sixth dimension of uh, the Franco effect. So uh, I'm just wondering about is there any like form you can express this function more specifically? To yes, or it's just a representation that uh, you know is uh, the function of Flanker effect is like uh, we have six parameters, but we don't know uh, the specific form or explicit. You can express it. Uh, it's just a symbol. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, the idea I didn't put all the mathematical equation here is that I just make my talk extremely boring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But actually, uh, you can you can see that. Um, let's take an uh, example here. We actually study one dimension by one dimension, and get the all of get get the And then we actually have a mathematical description here. For instance, here, I um, <coughs> the the location event is a uh, um, Gaussian function. And then the distance phase is the gamma function. Yeah, we do we do have this kind of descript description in our paper. Yeah. And over over the years. Yes. But uh, of course you, you may want to say, well this is uh, one paper in one paper you only work on one dimension and you have to spend six papers on six dimensions. Yeah, so can you write them together in one point my really long 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 thing? I think I can do that. But uh, <laughs> I think about this uh, six dimension. Every dimension, there are two levels of things that are simply for conditions. And the simple conditions then just provide the same information as what I have published as in any published set this period. Now, this, this uh, uh, yeah, of course, if some people, uh, some applied people want to use this one, that maybe could make it a good point to start with. So each parameter just represents uh, another kind of less, you know, you mean theta is. Uh, it uh, follows uh, a Gaussian function, so maybe theta is also represent a type of function. Uh, am I right? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you you say theta and it uh, follows from Gaussian function. Right. Maybe. Yeah, so maybe theta could be uh, represent as another kind of function. Oh, so. okay, okay, I see, I see. Um, yeah, true. There's many possible functions to represent the data, but it seems like the, uh, you have to pick one which fit your data well. As simple as that. And we found this one. In January, we can explain 80% you know, of our data, or what we get in our data. So I think that's a, of course, if you work hard enough, you, can make, you, you may be able to find a better, better, better um, description. Thank you. Uh, 
present such a beautiful story, and uh, uh, this is so good a summary. I re recommend you to write a review paper. <laughs> Six dimensional. <laughs> Now, I have a question. So, if you say that the function of the blank effect now is to serve as a uh, tool to detect 3D objects, and how do you explain say, uh, this blank effect is contrast dependent? Uh, uh, okay, so you, so you see with contrast dependency and the, uh, con and the 3D detection is uh, uh, kind of complicated to each other, right? Uh, it's always there. Uh, yes, but uh, this is this is a two way to explain it, to give you an answer. Oh, all right. Um, actually, one the one is it is true. Many people will, will believe that three D information is always there. They got they got this, this, this low contrast, high contrast. But turns out uh, there's data uh, showing that the perceived distance is actually contrast dependent. Okay. Right. Number one. And number two. Uh, here we are kind of studying the uh, early visual functions, which support make support many uh, higher range functions, right? And uh, um, and we know that in V1 we went to find some function high, function high, function high, function high study on V1, on V1 and also information. But it's not functioning at a much gentle slope than the uh, higher range media that in the in this area the procedure quite fast as contrast inputs. So that's the other possibility. Yeah, maybe uh, here we should be seeing the contrast contrast dependency uh, here. But uh, uh, in higher uh, in the higher uh, higher level uh, major forest maybe in this actually fast. So you would take this contrast dependency. Speaking, I never thought about sort of much about reaction time. <laughs> but to model reaction time, you need uh, uh, some kind of methods and convert contrast to time to this response. And uh, I know I, I, I think I have a, I have a, I have a chance to work on that. Okay. Thank you.